All right, so here we are in Sandbox. So what I've done before I jump into this flow, there are a few fields uh, that I've just added on the account and lead. So for our criteria, what we're gonna be using is we're gonna be using um, the website domain and the email domain. So what I've done here is I've already created just two quick formula fields uh, that um, you can go ahead, you can find these uh, formulas. I've seen several in Trailhead. This is gonna pull just the domain from the website essentially strips out any of the www or any of that information. And then on the lead, the email domain is what we're gonna grab. So again, we're stripping out uh, anything before the at sign. So we just want the domain of the email to match the domain of the website. You can use different criteria. This is what we're gonna use in this case. Now what we'll also need on the lead, which I'll create here, is a lookup to the account. So obviously uh, we can't have you know, leads aren't related to accounts. I can't roll this up. So I'm gonna create a lookup relationship between the leads and the accounts. So this can be related to accounts. Uh, I'll go ahead and call this, I'm gonna call this matched account. And this is where we'll input the actual account ID uh, into the lead so that you can reference it very easily from the page layout. Great, so we'll have that related list on the accounts. We'll call that leads as well. Great, so we have, again, the formula of the lead website do or the email domain that I'm gonna match with the website domain on the account. So I'm gonna now jump into the flow that's gonna then match these two records and then input that on the lead record. So here I'm in flows. I'm gonna go ahead and create new flow here. Uh, I'm going to have this as a record trigger flow. And the object that's going to trigger it, I'm going to have it trigger on the lead. And whenever it's updated or created. Uh, what I'll have here, um, I'll have just to make sure that there is an email. And I'll set this to false. So again, just making sure that the lead has an email, whether it's created or updated, because obviously that is what we're going to be matching off of. So how we're gonna start this here is we're gonna have a, um, a decision criteria here just in case the email has been updated or whether it's new. So I'll say email new or updated. Um, I'll call this a new or updated email. So this is just a decision criteria. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna create a formula here um, because you want to make sure that you have whether it's new a little or statement in here so I'm gonna have a formula uh, I'm gonna say new or updated lead email so I'm gonna have this as a boolean just so I can have this in the criteria and what I'm gonna do here uh, I'll have this as an or statement I'm gonna say it is new or uh, that um, the the field that is changed is gonna be the uh, email here. Oh, sorry. Record email. And so this way I have uh, that information there. And so actually what I'll, what I'll also do here, so I'm gonna close that out. Uh, and then I'm also gonna add just to make sure that it's, it's, um, it's not blank. So I'll say not is blank. And I'm also gonna put in that record email. Um, again, this is just making sure that the uh, email is just validated here. Um, so here we have whether this email is a new record, it's been changed, and making sure that it's not blank. Uh, let me go ahead and save that. Looks like it accepted that, awesome. Uh, and so I'm gonna make sure that this equals true. Again, this is Boolean, so this is gonna show whether it's been updated properly. Um, and I'm gonna put here for the default outcome and I'm gonna say no update. So again, this is showing and just checking that the email, it's, it's a new lead or it's been an updated email and that it's not blank. That's that formula I just created. So I, now I have this decision tree. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is that if there is no update, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this. Uh, so just get that out of the way here. 
Now on the newer updated email, what I wanna do is I want to match the account. I wanna get the account that potentially matches the lead here. So I'm gonna make a get records, and this is gonna be get the account. So I'm gonna be searching for an account, and this is the important part. This is where the account, if you recall, the uh, website domain, that's the field that I want to match with the email domain. So this is really the criteria here, that the website domain, that formula field I created earlier, that that matches the email domain on the lead. This is gonna be our matching criteria. Um, and so from here, I'll just grab one record. So now that I have this get record that's matching the account to the email domain, I wanna make sure uh, that, that whatever the get record is, I wanna have a decision criteria here to assign it or not. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna put here that the account found, I'm gonna say account match check. Found account match. And then for this one, I will say no match, no match. All right, so here we are back um, on the decision right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that get, uh, the account on the get record, and if that is null and that's false, so that's essentially saying double negative, saying, hey, if we actually found an account, let's see what we wanna do with it. So if we found the account, the account match found, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and update the triggering record, which was that initial lead. And I'm gonna say update lead. Again, this is that same lead that triggered the record. That's what we're looking at. And what, what I wanna do here is I wanna go ahead and input on that, if you recall, that lookup relationship that I created, that field, and I want to, to put in the ID of the account that was found. So again, this is gonna be the get account dot ID. So just to talk through this, what I've done is I'm now inputting on that lookup field that I created on the lead, the ID of the matched account. So this is what it's gonna look like here. Um, and just like that, we have the decision uh, tree here. Again, just to walk through it, I'm grabbing the email if it's updated or new on a lead. I'm finding an account that matches the domain and from there, I'm gonna then, if it matches, go ahead and update the lead with a matched account. If not, go ahead and end. So I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna call this match lead to account. All right, so just to walk through this, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go on to an account. Uh, let's, let's check out, we'll do gene point. Let's see what the website is on this. And we're gonna go ahead and match this. So. Uh, GenePoint is just GenePoint.com. You see here, this is what's stripping out that GenePoint.com website domain. So I'm gonna change a lead email to have that GenePoint.com. Uh, let's go ahead, we'll jump over to a lead here. We'll use this one here. This is all just sandbox test data. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna update this website, the domain here. I'm gonna change that over to GenePoint.com. So this should, according to the flow, trigger based off of this switch, then match the domain with the account domain and then pop it in here on the matched account. So I'm gonna hit save here. And just like that, you see the update. This is that formula field showing it's stripping out the email to just the domain. And then the flow recognized that gene point was a match. And so as a rep comes and gets this, they can see that quickly. We can even have a related list to be able to see that.